Hello everyone. So welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. So one of the user has asked me to explain this line of code which we were using in study day variable creation in some of the domains. So here I am taking the example of SDTM MH domain. So here we have two variables MH STDT and RF STDT. So the variable, uh, there are three observations with values of 15th gen, 1st gen and 10th gen in MHSTDT. For this subject, the reference target is 10th gen. So on all the three records, the value is the same. So let us now try to understand the derivation of this uh, MHSTDY variable using this piece of code. So in order to calculate the difference between any uh, two numeric variables, so we need to check whether first they contain non-missing values or not because if we do not check for the presence of non-missing values in those two variables so SAS will give us a uh, missing values note in the log which is not acceptable as part of clinical SAS programming here we are calculating the difference between two dates which are numeric and if we do not check for non-missing values in those days if it's at least one of them is missing so we would get a value of missing and also a note in the log so in order to prevent that, we check whether both the values are present or not in the date variables of interest. So here MHSTDT and RFSTDT. We'll take a look at how the this NMIS function works. So NMIS function actually returns the number of variables with a missing value in it. So here we have passed two variables. So out of these two variables, it will check whether the, on a particular observation, whether these two variables have missing values or not. And it will return zero if both of them are present. And it will return if only one of them, if it, it will return one if one of them is missing. And it will return two if both of them are missing. So it will return zero only when both of them are present. So we are checking for if NMIS of MHSTDT, RFSTDT is equal to zero. So which means both of them are present. Then only execute this particular line of code of difference between MHSTDT and RFSTDT. And then this uh, differently looking line of code, which we are trying to understand now. So what happens in SAS is, so every condition we evaluate for say for example here we are checking for the condition of mhstdt greater than or is equal to rfstdt so every condition which we uh, check for will get evaluated to either true or false so internally the value of true would be represented by one and false would be represented by zero as per the study data def definition so what we do is if a date of interest is greater than or equal to RFSTDT. So we add one to the difference of these two dates. So it will be like MH. So I'll just put MHST and RFST. So plus one if the date is greater than or is equal to. Otherwise, we will be asked to put only the difference between these two dates into MHSTDY. So only when it is less than. So to avoid confusion, let me remove this. So whenever it is less than, so we will be asked to calculate, use the difference of MHST and RFST and put it in MHST DY. And when it is greater than or is equal to one, we need to add plus one. So we'll just slightly tweak this particular zero. So when it is less than, it is as good as saying it is plus zero, right? So when it is less than, use plus zero. When it is greater than or is equal to the RFSTDT, which is MHSTDT is greater than RFSTDT, we need to add plus one. So what exactly are we trying to do here is, so we are evaluating this expression. We know that it gets evaluated to one when this condition is true and otherwise it gets evaluated to zero. So instead of adding this plus one manually, so we are using this logic. So we are making so making this backend logic of SAS to getting it evaluated to one or zero and adding it here. So what happens, we'll see on each of these observations. So let me remove all these lines of code. So 
So let us see the first observation. So here we have MHSTDT of 15th gen and 10th gen in RFSTDT. So both of them have a missing value. This becomes true. Then this assignment statement gets executed. So here we have a value of 15th gen and then here we have a value of 10th gen. So here again 15th gen greater than or is equal to 10th gen. So is this true? Yes. So it gets re resolved to 1. So the entire expression would now become 15th gen minus 10th gen plus 1. As this date is greater than or equal to reference start date, so we need to add plus 1 to the difference. So it is automatically taken care of this expression. So 15 minus 10 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So the value would become 6 here. So now let us see we have the second observation being processed. So we have the value of first gen and RFSTDT again 10th gen. So and then here first gen greater than or is equal to 10th gen. So is this true? False. So what happens? As this is false, it would result in 0. So first gen minus 10th gen is minus 9. So the resulting value would be minus 9 here. So instead of writing if then else with the, whether the MHSTDT is greater than or is equal to RFSTDT. So we have put that condition here in a shorter expression. So which is giving us the same end result. So now let us see the third observation. So here The third observation MHSTDT is 10th gen and again RFSTDT is also 10th gen. So this is MHSTDT greater than or is equal to. So is 10th gen greater than or is equal to 10th gen as both of them are equal this would become true which means a value of 1. So the entire expression is like this would result in 0 and plus 1. So again the value will be 1. Because we know that in SDTM as per SDTM standard, the reference start date would be considered as day one. So this record is on the same date. So it should again at the end give us the result of one. So but the expression we have seen how it gets evaluated to and why it gets a value of one whenever it is greater than or is equal to. So thank you for watching and keep learning.